Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. My name is Hannah and on this channel we talk all things home decor, home aesthetics, mixing high and low with new and old. And in today's video, it is home goods best of for the month of July. So if this is something you are interested in watching, just keep on watching. All right, if you are just clicking on this video or just stumbling across my channel, welcome. I head to Home Goods every single month to showcase the best product that I can find. Textiles, home decor, furniture, you name it, I compile it into one video every single month. Now, when you're watching my video, I will state two different things to be on the hunt for. The price of each item, and then I'm also going to list the style number. That style number is important because that is the information you need in order to see if your local home goods has that product in stock. Just jot down the numbers as you guys see them, give your local home goods a phone call, and they will be able to put those items on hold for you. Now, as an extra tip, make sure to let them know what type of item this is, that way they can track it down by department number. But this month was so good, so, so good. I loved every single item that I showcased in today's video. And at the end of the video, I will do a second portion to let you guys know if I ended up purchasing anything with a miniature haul. But without further ado, you guys, let's head to Home Goods. These next dining chairs are a dupe for the CB2 Ines dining chair priced at $379 online. Here at Home Goods, they're only priced at $129.99, which is a great deal for the same exact look. These next two terracotta vases reminded me of the vintage clay pots that we see so much of right now. I found something very similar on Wayfair priced at $273. Here at Home Goods, the small one was priced at $24.99 and the larger one was priced at $29.99. This next hand carved wooden vase reminded me of the found one of a kind reclaimed wooden jug from Pottery Barn that is priced at 109. Here at Home Goods, it's only priced at 50. Remove the beads and you have an identical copy. These beautiful wooden tapered candle holders reminded me of the Crate and Barrel Century Acacia Wood Taper Candle Holders priced at $35 and $55 a piece. Here at Home Goods, they're only priced at $12.99 and $14.99 each.
This next item unfortunately did not have any price on it, but it was giving me Restoration Hardware vibes. Minus the marble top, this reminds me of the Brulee Waterfall Closed Nightstand that is priced at $18.85 for membership pricing. I'm assuming this was probably in the $300 range, but it was definitely giving me that RH vibe. I know we are starting to transition out of the spring and summer months and focus more on the fall time, but I absolutely loved this wreath. It was priced at $59.99 and I felt like this could be something you could buy now and enjoy next year. I spotted another Zentique vase in my trip to Home Goods. This one was only priced at $40. The one I found on Wayfair was priced at $155, so you're definitely getting the same exact thing by the same brand here at Home Goods. This next lamp is the find of the day. I screamed internally when I came across this lamp. It is definitely giving amber interiors and McGee & Co. designer feel. It was only priced at $149.99 and reminded me a lot of the Sahara mushroom lamp that is on the High Living Society priced at $350. This next acrylic framed artwork I thought was so unique. It is all little things of string woven together to create one beautiful piece of artwork. It was priced at $250 and reminded me a lot of the Wayfair option priced at $819. This next accent chair is a dupe for the Fitz Elliott swivel chair from CB2 that is priced at $1,400. Here at Home Goods, this one was only priced at $400, so you're saving yourself $1,000 for the same exact look. I love these next set of small and large accent tables. They had this really beautiful marble white top, but then they had a really fun, almost twisted frame in black metal. Very delicate, very dainty. I just thought these would be perfect addition to any home. This next woven handle tray was fabulous and it was super big. So if you were on the hunt for a really oversized wicker tray, this one would be great price at $49.99. Floral pattern is here to stay, and as I was shopping through Home Goods, they had a really great selection of not only throw blankets, but they had a lot of quilts as well. This next black iron decorative tray reminded me of the one from Pottery Barn that is priced at $150. This one here at Home Goods was only priced at $24.99. This next amazing cabinet is definitely a restoration hardware dupe for the machine toe, which is typically priced at $5,100. Here at Home Goods, this one was on clearance for $750 and it was 96 inches tall. I could not get over the height of it, so I wanted to make sure to show you guys with me standing next to it how big this cabinet actually was. This next console table is an identical dupe for the Heston console table from Restoration Hardware that is priced at $1620. Here at Home Goods, it was priced at $300. You're definitely getting that look for a lot less money. Welcome to the second portion of today's video where I will haul any of the items that I picked up within my trips to Home Goods. Now, I only took home one item this month, and it is this beautiful table lamp behind me. 
Now, when I tell you guys when I was shopping at Home Goods, a lamp was not even on my radar. It was not even something I had been looking for. No, none of that. I came across this lamp, literally stopped me dead in my tracks, and I was like, should I buy this lamp? I ended up actually taking a poll on my Instagram and getting people's feedback if I should buy it, and I did. I love it. It is 100% an Amber Interiors McGee & Co. inspired lamp. It was priced at $149, but I actually got online to find something equivalent, and they are upwards of like $400 to $500 a lamp for something very similar to this. It's heavy to the touch. It's big in size, so if you are looking for like a really big oversized lamp, this guy chef's kiss so happy i bought it obviously i will find a home for it but i absolutely love it so so glad that i came across it but as a tip for you guys if you are shopping home goods you are on the fence about an item that you've come across i'm telling you guys just buy it hold on to your receipt take it home and see if it works in your space there is nothing worse than thinking about an item saying i'll think about it and come back maybe at a different time when you really love that item to come back for it to not be there so always 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 take something home keep your receipt see if it works and if it doesn't no harm no foul just return it so that's another little tip for you guys so that way you don't miss out on something that you really did love and wanted so yeah that is the end of today's video hope you guys enjoyed the month of july but until next time you guys i love you so much thank you for being here and we'll see you guys in my next video peace Enjoy.